Carl with Apt, and in this video we're going to be going over the differences between the new Samsung Q60 and Q70T. Starting off with the looks, they both share the boundless design with slim foot pedestals, but the 60 is tight and gray and the 70 has a black finish. Otherwise, they're going to be very hard to tell apart if they're turned off. Then we get to the connections. While both have two USBs, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and an optical output, the 60 also has a composite input for anyone looking to plug in an older device like a VCR or maybe in like a classic gaming system. Where the 70 has a big advantage is in the HDMIs. Not only does it have four to the 60's three, but number four also offers variable refresh rates, which you don't get with the 60. This feature helps prevent something called screen tearing. If you're not a gamer, then it isn't necessarily something you'll care about, but it is significant to note because, at the very worst, you still get an extra HDMI input. The other difference would be that the 70 has its own dedicated RS-232C connection, where the 60 can work with it, but you'd need a separate USB adapter, which doesn't come with the TV, so it would be an added expense. I wouldn't say that's going to be a deal breaker in most cases, though. As far as sound goes, they both have two-channel, 20-watt systems. The big difference is the 70 has Samsung's Adaptive Sound Plus built in. Not only does that give you adaptive voice to help your dialogue more clearly, but it also uses the Farfield microphone in the remote to help calibrate the TV's sound to the room you're in. So it does have the ability to sound better if you're using the speakers built into the TV. That being said, it won't make much of a difference if you're hooking up either one of them to uh, like any kind of soundbar or external sound system. As far as the home bar looks, you won't notice much of a difference here until you go into ambient mode. They both have it, but the 70 has ambient mode plus, which gives you some extras like wall generation to match the wall that it's installed in front of, and some different options on uh, in different info and news things that you can watch. Otherwise, you're looking at pretty much the same easy to use smart system. Then there's the pictures, and that's where the 70 gets some pretty nice additions. To start, it has the quantum processor 4K, where the 60 has the light version of that. The first benefit that gives you is adaptive picture, which optimizes the brightness and colors of the picture in real time based on the light in the room and what you're watching. People definitely have different thoughts on whether they like this or not, but it comes in handy if you watch TV in the morning when there's a lot of sunlight coming in through the windows, and then again at night when it's dark. You don't have to make those manual adjustments to the brightness since the 70 does it for you. You also get AI upscaling, which helps make a non-4K picture look even better. So you can play back 1080p content and it'll artificially add information to make it look nearly as good as native 4K footage. Even 720p content looks much better. Then there's the native refresh rate of the panel. The 70 is a 120Hz panel where the 60 is a 60Hz. Now, most casual TV watchers probably won't notice much difference, but if you're a gamer, having that faster refresh rate can help a lot by creating a smoother picture, which on non-gaming content would typically be referred to as the soap opera effect. Lastly, the 70 also gets wide viewing angle technology, which, as you've probably guessed by the name, helps maintain a better picture for anyone sitting off center. So the biggest differences are that the 70 gets a 120Hz panel and an additional HDMI input that both offer great gaming benefits, better sound enhancements, and better picture quality with that quantum processor 4K. To a casual TV viewer, there isn't going to be a night and day difference, and the 60 would also be a great choice, but for a gamer or someone who wants that AI-enhanced picture, the 70 is going to be the better option. And remember, if you have any questions on the 60 or 70, or any other TV that we carry, you can always call, email, or chat with one of our experts online. Thanks, as always, for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.